In this chapter of our video tutorial, we want to show you how to use the image tagging element. For that, I will say that I here in the header don't need this fixed picture, I will delete it. Instead, I would like to show the content of this field here, logo that came from my legal entity in report runtime. The logo that is configured there will be inserted into this field here. And if you remember, it is something like this. So to bring the image to the design, we use the image tagging element. We get to the placeholder and similar as with field tagging element, we need to point to the binding. In this case, we will bind it to general data current company logo. So now this here is presented here. Now you can play with different size modes. As you can see, I like to use fit placeholder width or height because then I need to care only about one dimension. So if I say something like this, and then I make this very small, for example, like one half of this available space, it will be nicely proportionally resized and I don't need to take care about the other dimension. But if it bothers you that here in the layout you see the placeholder kind of vertically, while you know that it is landscape, then you can make it approximately landscape, but you don't really need to take care about the exact proportions about the width and the height. Uh, everything will be done nicely for you. And you can play also and experiment with other modes. Uh, they might uh, be useful in some different situations. And let me at this moment talk about another type of previewing. So far we were using only this live preview here. But notice that there is also this kind of a previewer. And if you need to use it, we recommend that you use this PDF previewer. Because this renderer is exactly the same one as we applied in D365, which means that what you see here is up to the pixel the same result you can expect when printing from D365. And you will notice that it is better quality than the live preview. So if I make this one the same width as this one here, you will notice that this image here is a little smoother than this uh, one here. So that's the level of inaccuracy you can expect uh, on this um, renderer here. Other than that, live preview is for sure a lifesaver. There's another reason why this renderer here is, uh, this preview here is useful. You can save this as a file and you can send it to a colleague for a review, for example. There will be situations when you wa might want to preview also in Word, particularly if you're troubleshooting something, why something is broken between the pages in a wrong way or something like that, then this uh, word preview might be useful. But PDF previewer, pixel perfect result. Other than that, live previewer, lifesaver. So that was about the image tagging element and also about uh, our different uh, previewers. Next uh, chapter will be about the list tagging element.